with a sweet pea chef and I have a brand new delicious and filling chicken meal prep recipe to share with you today. We're gonna be making some healthy chicken fajitas with some fajita veggies and the most delicious spicy black beans you've ever had. This is gonna be an awesome meal. It's gonna be a great one to add to the rotation. Bonus, this recipe, the whole meal by itself costs just $3.37 with how we're gonna be meal planning it and it is under 455 calories, so it is a great high protein, high fiber, low carb meal prep on a budget. So let's get started. So we're talking meal prep today. So one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, Lacey, what meal prep containers do you use? These glass meal prep containers are awesome. I love them so much. I can pre-portion my meals. They're easy to store, easy to wash, and easy to grab and microwave all ready to go, they're awesome. If you want the link for them, I can leave it in the description below, or you can click on the button on the screen. They're awesome if you're looking to get yourself some. But truth of the matter is, as long as you have anything that's an airtight container and you can pre-portion everything out, that will work. You don't have to get these meal prep containers. Our first step is to get our chicken marinating. So we are going to either use a large mixing bowl or a Ziploc bag so that we can place it into the fridge. We're gonna add in our boneless, skinless chicken breasts, followed by freshly squeezed lime juice, no sugar added pineapple juice, low sodium soy sauce, olive oil, minced garlic, ground cumin, paprika, some crushed red pepper flakes, sea salt, ground black pepper, and some chopped fresh cilantro. So carefully toss everything together so that we get the chicken nicely coated. We're looking for everything to be evenly coated. Then we're gonna transfer this into the fridge. We want the chicken to marinate for at least 30 minutes. We can do it for longer, up to eight hours in fact, but ideally for this recipe, to get it juicy and flavorful, the marinade will take at least 30 minutes to get into the chicken. If this chicken marinade recipe looks familiar, that is because you've seen it in my how to marinate chicken recipe video, which is an awesome recipe video that has all sorts of marinades. I highly recommend it. It's another great way to add delicious flavor to boring chicken, so check that out if you want. While the chicken is marinating, we are going to start on our spicy cilantro lime mashed black beans that go so perfectly with the chicken fajita meal prep. I think you're gonna love them. Add some olive oil over medium high heat in a large saucepan and we're gonna allow this to get hot. Then we're gonna add in some minced garlic, finely chopped cilantro, and some ground cumin. And then we're gonna stir this together we're gonna cook this for about a minute or two until the garlic becomes fragrant and it gets nice and hot. Then we're gonna add in our cooked, rinsed, and drained low sodium black beans and a little bit of low sodium chicken broth. And we're gonna stir all this together. We're gonna to cook this for about five to seven minutes, stirring occasionally. We're wanting basically the beans to get nice and heated through and everything to start to meld together. Then I'm gonna use a potato masher to mash the cooked black beans in with everything. And what I'm trying to do here is basically mash most of the beans. I don't wanna have it a full on refried bean texture. That is possible if you wanted, you could just place it into the blender and blend it to get it fully smooth. What I'm looking for is kind of a coarse mash. So I have some mash and some full, and it's just gonna add a little bit of texture and interest to the beans. Then we are going to cook the beans for about eight to 10 more minutes. And what we're looking for is for the beans to become a little bit thicker and kind of resemble the thickness of refried beans. Next, add in some freshly squeezed lime juice, some chopped cilantro and some sea salt and then stir together. And that's it for the beans. These are ready to go. You can taste them, see if you need any more lime or salt at this point, but we're gonna set them aside and allow them to cool while we get everything else ready to go. Okay, now our chicken is nicely marinated, so it is time to cook it. So we're gonna heat a tablespoon of olive oil over a medium high heat in a large skillet and let it get nice and hot. Then we're gonna add our marinated chicken breast into the hot pan. We're gonna cook it for about four to six minutes on both sides. What we're looking for is for the chicken to get completely cooked through and nice and goldeny brown delicious on the outside. Once it's cooked, we're going to remove it from the heat and then set it on a cutting board and we're gonna slice it into thin fajita style cuts. 
So not only does this make it feel a little bit more like fajitas, but it also is gonna help us reheat our chicken later. The thinner, the smaller pieces of the chicken, the easier to reheat. That way you don't overcook everything else in your meal prep container while you're reheating your chicken just to get that hot. It's also a really easy way to help portion out your meals. Once you have it sliced, you can go ahead and set it aside while we make our fajita veggies. So in order to make our fajita veggies, we're gonna need another large skillet. You could also just use the one you just cooked the chicken in. We're gonna heat some olive oil over medium high heat and let it get nice and hot. Then we're gonna add in some thinly sliced white onion, followed by some thinly sliced poblano pepper, some thinly sliced red bell pepper, thinly sliced green bell pepper, sea salt, and ground black pepper. And then we're gonna toss this to combine. What we're looking for here is for the veggies to become almost tender. We don't want them to be fully cooked here because then when we reheat the meal later, they're gonna be kind of mushy. We want them to have a little bit of consistency at this point. So once you see the edges start to become a little bit tender, that is when you remove it from the heat and you set the veggies aside. That way we can get our meal prep containers ready to go so we can put all of this together. All right, so let's start by adding our sliced chicken to our meal prep containers. I have used a scale and I've weighed out our fajita chicken so that I have four and a half ounces per serving. If you don't have a scale, you can just evenly divide everything into the seven meal prep containers that we're using, and that way you know you have roughly four to five ounces. That way we can pre-portion everything and we can know how many calories we're having in each meal. Then on the opposite side of the chicken, I'm going to add in the spicy cilantro lime mashed black beans and in order to separate them evenly, it's about a third of a cup per container. Then I'm going to grab my fajita veggies and I'm gonna put that right in the middle between the chicken and the beans, and then I'm gonna distribute that evenly across all seven meal prep containers. The final touch of this fajita meal prep is to add a wedge of lime so that once everything is heated, you can add a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice, which is just the perfect topping for some fajita chicken. So how long does this meal last in the fridge? Very good question. It lasts five to seven days in the fridge if you store it well in a good airtight container. Then when you're ready to go and eat it and enjoy it, just grab it, place it into the microwave for about two minutes, get everything heated through, and you are ready to go and enjoy your meal. Check out my How to Meal Prep Chicken Recipe video for another really great healthy meal prep on a budget and if you wanna make some healthy homemade tortillas, I've got the perfect homemade corn tortillas recipe that is easy and clean that you can follow the link to as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss our new weekly recipe videos and give this video a thumbs up if you cannot wait to go enjoy some healthy chicken fajita meal prep. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.